What's up, guys? Fat Archon here, bringing you a very special live episode of Fat Archon ranks the best-looking Chaos Demon units and models in uh, in 40k. Uh, <laughs> so nice to have you guys here. Uh, hopefully, get a few more people join us as we go on. As a quick disclaimer, my very first live stream ever. So uh, <laughs> if uh, I don't know if. Uh, interracial hentai tentacle porn or uh, anything like that pops up uh please excuse it uh i'm a newbie uh for sure though if there's uh if there's an issue with the mic quality or the stream quality or anything like that like please let me know i'll do my best to fix it but obviously very important you guys got any questions along the way as we go through this or um you know anything about 40k in general or demons especially uh you guys are welcome to pitch in uh especially if you have any opinions on how i should rank certain models or whatever 100 percent. i'd very much like to know um we can we can work together on which models might be the best um or not so um so yeah hopefully hopefully this is a fun little episode if uh if this goes all right i'll probably do more in the future for the rest of the chaos factions um get like chaos space marines for sure Originally, I actually was going to do them all together, and I realized how many freaking kits there were, and I realized, nah, that'd be like a six-hour video. Pro probably shouldn't do that. Um, so, without further ado, I guess uh, I guess we can get into it. So, uh, one thing I should mention, we're talking about freaking uh, demons here, one of my favorite armies ever. So, uh, right away, you can just assume that, like, any tier I put them on, like, realistically, they belong a tier or two higher uh, <laughs> compared to other armies. That said, we can still compare them to each other, at the very least. Um, so, yeah, that'll be the rankings for, uh, for each other. Uh, yeah. So, we'll start off this actually pretty good one. We got, we got Mr. Kairos. Uh, let's pull it up, uh, over here. Kairos. So, there is one issue. He's a bird. Uh, <laughs> birds aren't, like, the coolest thing ever, uh, in my humble opinion. That said, the paint job, like, really makes this guy, like, Zinch in general, the paint jobs can really make him pop. So, that is an incredible part of it. If you're a really talented, um, painter thousand percent you make them look like especially sick uh i enjoy painting mine a lot like yeah look at all this cool little trim he's got and whatnot uh the wings too the wings are very good compared to like gw's like earlier models those are pretty all right i like the staff i like all that uh, and actually i should admit too my regular lord of change i actually built him with the kairos heads or whatever just because i think it looks cooler and it totally fits like zinch like not Z not only kairos would have two heads i would think like they're gonna have all sorts of wonky weird looking stuff or whatever now um as much as i hate birds but i love zinch i won't put him up in s tier or whatever he is a centerpiece for sure uh but i would think ooh, i would think he looks damn good if if, if you're a, a good painter like yes you can definitely make this guy pop quite a bit so i believe he belongs up there we'll see as we go further if uh you know some of them knock him lower or maybe, who knows maybe he'll go higher uh, all right, we got, uh, what is it, Bloodmaster, I believe. Let's go back. So this model, you know, he's small. He's nothing too special. Um, basically just a pimped out blood letter. Um, his model in person, so I looked over all the models before I did this video. Just to make sure, I, you know, if they look better or worse in person or whatever. And he actually, he, he does stand out. He stands out pretty well, and he does look pretty cool, especially in front of a blood, uh, blood letter bomb or a little squad you got going on. All that said, really nothing too special. He's just a basic little demon. Uh, so I do think... I think it goes indecent. You could make him pop. You could, like, you could add so much trim and other cool stuff to this guy. Maybe a bunch of, like, skulls hanging down. Uh, something cool like that that could have brought him up a little bit higher. So I think, yeah, he's just, you know, he's decent. Could be better. Definitely could be worse. Um, but decent all around. Ooh, all right, flamers. So if we were going by rules, uh, these guys would go straight up to like above S tier or whatever. But on looks alone, let's uh, let's pull them up. Let's pull them up. Let's uh, let, let's decide. Um, you know, I'll be honest. Especially looking at our own person, like I don't know, man. They're, <laughs> they're just sort of like. Eh, you know, they're there. Uh, I don't think they look that amazing at all. Painting them was eh as well. Like, you would have to be a really good painter to make them look, like, cool, uh, in my opinion. Like, it's hard to, like, um, whatever it's called when you, like, blend. It's hard to, like, blend those colors right and all that sort of stuff. So I'm really not that impressed with the Flamers overall. They're itty-bitty. They kind of look like cheap toys in a way. So while they're great units and they belong in, like, every army ever, truthfully, I think they look kind of goofy. I think you can make those look so much cooler. Um, so unfortunately, as good as they are, yeah, just goofy. Ooh, all right, uh, is this, uh, Sloppity Bile Piper, I believe? Yeah, all right. <laughs> when, when you talk about, like, charm, a model having charm or whatever, this guy just, like, 
explodes in charm. You know, this guy is amazing. I love the, the thought behind him, how goofy he is, how, like, happy he is, fits the Nurgle theme. He, like, even though he's, like, goofy and kind of cartoony, uh, cartoonish or whatever, still fits, like, with the rest of the army and the rest of the model range pretty well. Whoever sculpted this guy, like, you are a talented person, <laughs> um, for sure. Painting him was super fun. Actually, pretty easy. Like, all Nurgle's really easy to paint or whatever. I, like absolutely love this model right here I, I think this is an incredible model for sure but come on um doing like a uh guts bagpipe or whatever <laughs> like who thought of that uh and, and look look at that if we were to just rate the little nurgling alone that would go in s tier overall yes this is one of my more favorite models and it's awesome that he's only what like 35 bucks or whatever i uh super duper love sloppy bio pop uh, bio piper it sucks that he's kind of small but, you know, he can't really help that, um, especially when he's meant to go with Plague Bearers or whatever. Very happy with that guy. Uh, sick model if you don't already have it. Nerglings. All right, these guys are adorable. Uh, the little uh, the little pus puppies, as I call them. How can you not love these guys? Like, yeah, look at how playful they are. You got uh, a bunch of, like, conversion opportunities and whatnot. So um, I collect Death Guard, for example. I have a bunch of Death Guard, and they come with a bunch of funny little... Well, okay, they have a few uh, cute little Nerglings. Um, so you take those and you throw them on some bases, or you cut these guys off and throw them on top of other models, put them on, like, a great unclean one and all that sort of stuff, like, super fun model to play around with. Um, as usual, Nurgle, uh, Nurgle, incredibly easy to paint. These guys are, like, the easiest thing to paint. Just spray paint them green and put a bunch of Agrax Earthshade on them and you're basically done. Um, yeah, these guys are super ultra cute. I don't think they belong in, like, S tier or anything like that. Although, like, there are certain ones, like the dancing one we saw in the last model. Yes, those belong pretty high, but they're itty bitty, you know, like, you can, like, barely even see them. These guys go pretty up there. Um, if we were to just rate, like, demon units, period, on, like, how cool they are, quote-unquote, Nurglings would go very up there. Um, I think, I think I'll just put them in good. They're just, like, good all around. Again, they're itty bitty. Realistically, yeah, they're kind of basic if you really think about it or whatever. But uh, I think they're adorable, so for sure, going good tier. Uh, and and if I was being like honest with y'all, if it's like my like only my personal view on stuff, yeah, I'd put them up in S tier or whatever. But I know that yeah, they're not uh, they're not the most intricate thing we've ever seen. Uh, all right, we got the ooh, <laughs> I'm having a brain fart. Wait, okay, screamers, that's right, screamers. Uh, you know, I don't really like these guys. I think they look kind of goofy. They're like, like, I don't know, like special, special ed uh, sharks <laughs> flying in the air or whatever. I'm not too, uh, not too impressed with these guys. Yeah, I mean, there's like, there is cool thoughts to the, you know, it does fit Zinch, the how they don't really make sense. They got a bunch of eyes. They got, all of them are fairly different. I do like that. So the kits are pretty cool. The, uh, the options they get on making them look different. But still, even then, even in the end, like, yeah, man, you got flying manta rays with, bunch of eyes or whatever i'm not too impressed personally i do like them like from a fluff and theme perspective i do like them a fair bit but in the end i do think they belong with flamers and that to me they do look kind of goofy um nothing too special there skull taker all right this guy's awesome especially in person or whatever so if you put him like in front of your corn army this guy will stand out even though he's a, you know basically the size of a blood letter or whatever i freaking i adore this guy i think he's amazing his cape is awesome just covered in skulls like it's such a cool um sculpt right there here yeah we got to spin this guy around let's uh, let's take a look yeah look at that <laughs> uh i like it a fair bit yeah i yeah no i agree uh Char charlie uh, he was one of my more favorites to paint because doing skulls, period, like, is always fun. Um, and for sure, like I said, he stands out. Yeah, I like this guy a lot. Not sure he goes in S tier. He's too small. But I would think damn good. Like, I think he's a damn good model. If you have a Corrin army, I think you should get him for sure. Uh, that would be my opinion on him. Demonettes. So, all right, we got our first little troops. So, Sinesh in general is just pretty cool in my, uh, in my opinion. The whole being androgynous and uh, <laughs> and the uh, the crab arms are kind of cool, all that sort of stuff. So I do enjoy demonettes. I will say the uh, or uh, slanesh, the basic demonettes like mm, they're okay. I think they could use more detail. It's almost like they're kind of showing their age. I think um, they could use a refresh because like the faces all look almost identical. The hair is mm, whatever. It's kind of goofy when you like see it in person. And uh, to be honest with you guys, so I love Slanesh. I hate painting them so much. They are like the hardest models to paint. 
because I can't figure out that skin. Uh, <laughs> trying to get the, it's always too dark or too light or too purple. Um, so I have a hard time doing the skin. So maybe, I don't know, maybe I have like a personal bias against them. But I mean, again, we are talking about Slanesh here. We are talking about cool little like theme they got the whole yeah male female over sexualized but gonna rip out your guts uh theme going on so uh, you know they're still cool at the end of the day they're really cheap that's like the best part they're like 30 bucks for a kit which is unheard of so i wouldn't put them in goofy necessarily but i think yeah i think they go in decent definitely below uh um, blood master ooh blood letters so uh more basic troops these guys, um, when it comes to troops, I like them more than Demonettes for sure. I think these guys like definitely fit the um, the look that Chaos is going for, especially like Corn. Period. You know, little demons with big ass swords, cool ass flags. Uh, <laughs> definitely got the like demonic look going like perfect with these guys. When you think, when somebody, if I were to tell somebody, oh yeah, I play Chaos Demons, I've never like heard or, or played Warhammer before, they're probably gonna think of something kind of like this. I wouldn't be that surprised. Um, and GW pulled them off. Yes, they could use a refresh. I, I definitely think they could use a refresh for, like, sure. Um, uh, kind of like Demonettes, they're kind of showing their age. They're a little basic, like, not the most detailed ever. But I still love them. Uh, to throw, like, 30 of these guys on the table or 60 of them, whatever you're doing, looks pretty awesome and is pretty fun to, like, roll some dice with. So I'll put them, uh, I think they belong with Nurglings. Probably, um, probably above Nurgling. No, nah, I think, uh, I think their kids are too old. I'll put Nurglings above them. Um, but cool all around. Who doesn't like blood letters? They're, they're the classic demon. <laughs> Karanak. Uh, this guy's relatively new. I'm kind of surprised GW sells him, like, separately. Um, he's actually, he's kind of cool. If, if you put him next to the other, um, flesh hounds or whatever, like, yeah, he, he stands out with them and definitely, like, yeah, he, like, definitely stands out. Slightly bigger and obviously has the big heads or whatever. I will say the, the pose is kind of goofy. Um, I don't, like, that head up there, I think they should have done it some other way um because it's kind of like he's got like boils <laughs> he's got boils that are heads underneath his neck or whatever then again i guess we're talking on chaos so they do some random stuff the base is awesome like the, the fire coming off the skulls um the brands in his legs like and the tail like uh, all that stuff is pretty awesome painting him was cool um you do him all red and then trying to get his back like darker or whatever that was really fun to do when um when i painted him and of course doing the uh the brass corn logos are always awesome uh <laughs> You've painted so many, just not even include them in any tenth. Yeah, no, same here. Uh, yeah, blood letters especially. Blood letters need a, a points break, like, horribly. 160 points is ridiculous on blood letters. I fully believe when the codex drops that they will get fixed. They need to be, like, 120 points or something. I don't know what GW is thinking. <laughs> Boils under... Yeah, I mean, that's what it looks like, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, while I do like Karanak... Uh, he could have been way better, in my opinion. Also, too, they should have made him, like, bigger, I think. Um, granted, his, for his rules, he's, like, relatively cheap. He's just, like, a character hunter, so he's all right. Um, I don't think he's bad, but he goes, like, very bottom of decent in, in my book. Plague Bearers. All right, these are the other classic uh, troops. I Actually, of all the troops, these are probably my favorite. Um, probably my favorite. It's, it's Nurgle. I'm going to tell you guys right off the bat, I'm, like, extremely biased uh, um, towards Nurgle. So anytime we see one of their models, most likely I'm going to rate them higher than maybe they should be. But, like, look at this guy carrying the... <laughs> what is that? Is that Nurgling's ass I'm looking at right there? Uh, like, pretty awesome. The, uh, the standard bearer is cool. I will say, like, the heads look kind of funny, but it's Nurgle. We're talking about Nurgle. Whatever. Uh, the bellies are awesome. These guys just, like... They just, like, exude charm or whatever. Um, like I've said plenty of time, incredibly fun to paint. These guys, you can start off real, real, real basic with them and then just add on to them later. That's actually how I did mine. Just, like, paint them all green, washed them, and then, like, a month later, I came back and went over and did everything cool. Uh, uh, look at that face, dude. Like, <laughs> yeah, these guys are so cool. Look at the Nurglings dancing. Uh, I am incredibly happy with the Plague Bears. I think they're the best-looking troops, me personally. Uh, so I'm going to rate them... Uh, Ooh, do I put them damn good or just good? Um, honestly, I think they're damn good. If if I were to like consider the price of them as well, they're cheap. They're thirty bucks or whatever. Yeah, me personally, I put them in damn good. I, I could see other people rating them lower, but I like them quite a bit. Uh, blue whores, uh, blue whores and brimstone whores. These guys, they're uh, they're okay. The models are itty itty bitty bitty um, in person, which is kind of cool. That means you can hide them behind terrain and whatnot easier. Um, 
they do have a lot of like different and cool poses like they're definitely kind of like dynamic um which i do like the brimstones are cool um cool thought behind them but they are they are they're like too small to get the good details in there at least when gw originally created these guys so they're not the coolest thing even even here on the gw page where they're like professionally painted like <laughs> you'd barely make out uh some of their features but the regular blue horse yes all right they're pretty tight for the zinch theme or whatever they're an excellent troop i'm glad gw went with whores when it comes to, like how they design their troops or whatever i'm not even sure how i describe them they're like uh what's that fat ghost from ghostbusters they're, they're like that guy but with legs um and blue they're um they're not bad by any means they're just average in my eyes so i think they'll just go yeah let's go decent Probably, uh, probably behind Karanak. Um, yeah, we'll do something like that. Ooh, okay. Infernal and Rapturous. Uh, this one is freaking awesome. She is itty-bitty. Um, that is, uh, you know, that is an issue, but come on. This is a fairly recent model. Look at that. That is, like, so good. I'm so glad GW, like, stuck with the Grimdark theme. Because you gotta think, like, we're living in modern day or whatever. Uh, and GW has exploded into a multi-billion dollar company or whatever. Maybe they want to dial back some of the really, like, gnarly stuff. Nope. Uh, we got a freaking dude split with his intestines being a freaking uh, harp or whatever. Uh, an amazing model. I will say, it's funny. It, so this guy alone, like, saves the model. Because she herself, like, sure, she's got cool hair and whatnot. But that face is ugly. Uh, I don't really care for that face right there um infernal and rapturous though i would almost say she's like a musket model i think like um at least you want something cool to like paint and look at like look at that brand on his back oh my god that is so awesome uh she's playing a harp with a claw i didn't realize that like yes this is an incredible model how much is she 45 bucks she's kind of small you know man 45 bucks is a little spinny but we're talking about uh warhammer here i am uh infatuated with this model i like her a lot i would put her in ah uh, I'll put her in S tier, honestly. I she might belong in damn good, but that is just like um I'm like I said, the idea that GW went with the very dark <laughs> uh and very slaneshi uh look on that, they they did great. So I'll put her in S tier. Pink whores. These will probably be similar to blue whores. Let's take a look though. Uh they are cooler than blue whores. They're way bigger, so they're easier to like easier to see and get the detail and easier to paint. They do have quite a, a decent amount of variety. Um, so the beaky guys, well, there's a few of them in here, but you can do the different arms on them. The, uh, the standard is actually pretty cool. I will say it, uh, makes your model fall over all the time. I had to, what, I had to glue nickels underneath mine so they wouldn't fall over constantly. Uh, but I do like them a fair bit. I, uh, like I said, compared to the blue whores, they're way better. They are, uh, you know, they are still kind of generic at the end of the day. They're not, like, the most fancy thing ever. I don't think they're up to, like, blood letters level, but... Uh, I like them a fair bit. Definitely fun to paint. They were uh, they were kind of hard to paint, too. It was hard to get the right color of pink, because I like to match what GW does. Um, so that was kind of... Yeah, yeah, the Icon Bear is very clumsy. Yeah, I, I definitely had to um, glue nickels under all of mine. I think I even had to do multiple nickels, and he still falls over all the time. So, <laughs> GW, if you ever redo this kit, have him hold it like so it's more like a uh, better center of balance or whatever. Um, that would be much appreciated. These guys, they're, um, I just think they're okay. I don't think they're going good tier. I think they're just, like, average. Um, I do like them more than Demonettes. I probably like them more than Karanek. Um, but not better than Bloodmaster. So, yeah, just, uh, just a solid, just a solid model. All right, what do we got? This is a Skull Master, I believe. Skull Master on Herald on Juggernaut. This guy looks goofy. There's something wrong with this guy. So, the Juggernaut is s tier like i really like that juggernaut maybe it's the paint job they did making him look brass or whatever but the guy on top he just doesn't look right something something's off with him i don't know if it's like uh, the pose he has how he's holding up the thing or how his leg looks kind of stupid uh <laughs> in this picture right here Ooh, i wish i could rotate it but um yeah i've i've actually he's one of the few demon models i don't think i own at all um, because, yeah, I don't really, I don't like him. And his rules kind of suck. Like, uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Sk uh, Skull Master, but not too, uh, not too India, dude. I don't think he's trash, but he definitely looks goofy to me. Um, yeah, I think he looks worse than the others, too. The others are, like, fine. They're just a little off or whatever. This guy, like, looks off. Um, so, yeah, I think he goes in goofy. <clears throat> Clearly just use the blood crusher painted uh, yes that would be smart yeah this would be a perfect one to kit bash or like you said just paint him a little different so he stands out i think that'd be perfect what'd be really cool is get like the uh the banner somehow and like get that on there 
Uh, all of a sudden, I want to like get back shot right now. Uh, <laughs> but I think that would look especially cool. Truthfully, what I did, if, if you want the honest truth, I 3D printed a bunch of my um, Blood Crushers. And so I just picked out the coolest looking one and just used him as Skull Master if I ever wanted to run him. Um, there's a really cool, at the end of this video, try to remind me, um, I'll pull up this really good 3D artist who makes incredible Chaos Demon models. All right, we got, uh, I believe he's Flux Master. Let's take a look. Yeah, Flux Master, Herald of Zinj. Okay, this guy is like the definition of Goofy. He might even go in trash. Um, I, I think his issue is he's really old, I think, because look at, like, his disc of Zinj just doesn't look right. That's just, like, way too thick and kind of dumb looking. Uh, all right, good. We can rotate him. Let's take a look. There's parts of it that I love. The book is awesome. His pose is pretty all right. You know, doing the uh, <laughs> doing the metal uh, hand sign. I like that. The disc ruins it, and then his face ruins it. I think those just do not look right at all. Um, do I put him in trash or just goofy? Have you done an army showcase slash would you? Or interested to see how my models go? I have considered it. I've considered um, putting up my own models just so people can see what they look like. What I really want to do, it doesn't so much apply to demons so much, but I do want to do um, a video on magnetizing chaos because I get a lot of new players asking me about models and I always tell them, like, magnetize it. You're doing chaos nights? Like, magnetize it. And sometimes you're like, eh, I don't want to. I'm just going to run around how I want. I'm like, ooh, don't do that. Like, <laughs> way too expensive. Anyways, uh, I've been considering showing how I magnetize my models. I might eventually show off my army. The issue is, is I live in a studio, so a nice little apartment. I have shelves, like half my apartment's full of 40k models, but they, um, I would have to do a lot of cleaning, <laughs> basically. I'd have to figure out how to do it. So maybe at one day I'll show off my models. I'm not the best painter by any means, but I have been playing since like the 90s or whatever. So they're okay. Like I, I'm like, I'm proud of some of the great unclean one. I'm very proud of. I literally took my great unclean one to my mom's house to show off to her, uh, and to my girlfriend. <laughs> so, uh, some of them look okay. So maybe eventually. All right. Flux master. Uh, I don't like him at all. I would like never run that model. So truthfully, I think I got to put him in trash. He sure he's the definition of goofy, but I think I put him in trash just cause again, I would never, me personally, I would never play that model. Oh, uh, hey, Ross, welcome to. I'm glad you appreciate that video, man. Yeah, the, the huge point of all, almost all my videos are to help people who are, like, newer to chaos or are, like, getting back into chaos and that sort of stuff. So I appreciate you saying that. Um, that's, like, basically exactly what I'm shooting for. So so thank you very much. All right, we got another one. We got a, uh, this is an awesome model, uh, Beast of Nurgle. Thank God we're doing the modern ones because the, uh, the old one that they don't make anymore look terrible. Uh, <laughs> maybe I'll pull it up, but yeah, this guy, uh, GW knocked it out of the park with these guys. I like this one, especially <laughs> like, look at that goofy face, man. Like you almost want to kiss it or whatever. Um, I love Beast of Nurgle. Their issue is they're incredibly expensive. It's 55 bucks for one of them, a single one. Thank God GW finally fixed the uh, points. Cause it used to be, you'd run a unit of like six. You'd have a $300 uh, unit that A, kind of sucked, and B, like, didn't even do that much. Now they're, you know, you can run them as singles, um, which is much better. I, uh, Charl, uh, Charlie, I guess I'll spoil it, but yes, I think it was an S-tier model. I think, like I said, GW knocked it out of the park with these guys. Um, new players or people who have never played 40k before, whatever, you show them this model, like, they're going to want to see it. They're going to want to pick it up and look at it, I almost guarantee. So, yes, these guys go straight to S-tier. Uh, I was thinking when I was first doing this video, we'll see, I might need to add another tier, because I generally do love demons so much that, like, I want to rate everything pretty high, but we'll see. Uh, Beast Nurgle, though, S tier. Uh, eventually, if you play Nurgle, like, go out and get them. There's also some really cool, like, 3D printable ones you can get as well. Alright, I'm gonna take a sip of coffee, uh, cheers, my friends. Ah, uh, much better. Alright. Flesh Hounds. These guys look pretty sick. Um, like, sure, they're generic evil dogs or whatever, so they're not, like, that fancy. Uh, these aren't something that somebody's going to see and, like, ooh, I'm going to pick that up and, like, look at it. They're just going to be like, oh, cool, you got evil hounds or whatever. But the sculpts are pretty awesome. Um, they do look cool on the table. They do look cool, like, next to the, all your other corn demons or whatever. Like, they fit in perfect. Um, yeah, yeah, I think flesh hounds are, are cool. Um, they're just cool. They're not, like, amazing. They're not, like, us tier. But I think they're, like, good. Um, maybe you own most demon kits and you're not sure what to get next, but you, like, care about the hobby side, you just want something to paint. These guys are really fun to paint. Just like Karanak, like, figuring out how to get the, um, the back, like, darker than the rest of it, I liked a lot. 
um, doing dry brushing and whatnot. So there's fun little techniques you can use on it. The bases are excellent. GW did f um, fantastic on the bases. These are a newer model. These are like, I want to say they're like four or five years old, something like that. So they do have really, they got like the modern sculpting going on. So that is pretty good. It's the spitting dinosaur. I could definitely see that. <laughs> Most certainly I could see that. And in fact, one of them, the leader spits, uh, I think he spits flames, but either way, he does spit stuff out, so I can see that. I like him a good bit. I think they go in... What do you guys think? Would you think damn good or good? Um, Because they got the modern sculpts. I do like that. And the bases are pretty incredible. But again, they're just like dogs. Mm, for now, I'm going to put them in good. I think they just go in good. They go top of good. Definitely above Nurglings. Um, solid B. Yeah, they're just like solid. Yeah, solid B. So for now, I would think top of top of good. Uh, all right. Next up, we got the fiends. Fiends of Sunish. It's so funny. <laughs> these used to so ninth edition. These were one of the best models, and uh, they were like permanently sold out on GW's website. So you used to buy these. They were like fifty bucks each. And in fact, I um, I'm pretty positive I saw some for like. 80 bucks each it was getting like ridiculous buying these i feel so bad for everybody who did that because now they kind of suck rules wise that said we're not rating them on the uh rules we're rating them looks uh these guys are awesome these, these are some of the better slanesh units these came out at the same time as the flesh hounds the um whatever that box set was called that's that's when i got into chaos i saw that box set i was like oh this is such a good deal like <laughs> i guess i'll get into them uh i think these guys belong pretty high up there if i was gonna critique something i think the rear legs are weird like that doesn't make sense uh i guess again if it's the demon and chaos thing and that eh, it doesn't always have to make sense but um pretty much from like here back i'm not as sold on but from here forward i think they're pretty incredible the hair is awesome you got like you got like a beautiful woman's hair um <laughs> i do like that sort of stuff these guys are like really cool looking on the table this is another one that somebody might pick up and be like oh my god like <laughs> where'd you get this uh i like it a lot this other one too like uh this one in the back his tail is pretty awesome like the uh the movement they got going on there the tongues very happy with this kit i feel bad if you spent uh 50 bucks each on it before but i do like it and look we got nudity who thought GW would stick with nudity? Like, um, very happy with these guys. I do think, uh, honestly, I think they go in S tier. They're just, like, they're different, too. Like, I've never seen anything in any sort of fictional universe that look like those guys. So I, I do belong, uh, think they belong pretty high up there. Epidemius. Uh, this is one of my favorites. So, again, I'm uh, super Nurgle bias. This is one of my favorite Nurgle models, period. But... That's just a personal theme. I know it's a personal theme because if you were to see this guy in person, he's actually kind of lame. He has like terrible features. He's, um, I'm pretty sure he's still fine cast. Well, mine was for sure. GW needs to refresh this model terribly. It's almost like something they made in like the early 90s. And I bet you that is when he came from or whatever. Look at the, um, let me zoom in here. Look at the like nurglings. You can't even make out what these guys are. They're literally just like shapes. Um, and his face, as cool as he is, like, it's fine cast, and we all hate fine cast for a good reason. So they kind of, like, you need to take an X-Acto knife and, like, f fix a bunch of that stuff. So while I personally love him a lot, and he is super easy to paint, and, like, legitimately, he is fun to paint. Uh, you can have, you can go wild on the flags and whatnot. Uh, I just know from having dealt with him before, like, yeah, he's actually a terrible model. <laughs> um, awesome theme, awesome idea behind him. Terrible model. I would, uh, unless you're a diehard Nurgle fan or whatever, you should probably skip him. His rules are really good, though. If uh, if you're running Plague Bearers, I uh, I would highly suggest you consider uh, Epi uh, Epidemius. Ooh, do I put him goofy or trash? Truthfully, you can't even make out what the Nurglings are. I think he goes in trash tier. I don't want to do it, but I think he goes in trash tier. We'll put him, like, top of trash. Maybe he go very bottom of goofy. But, um, yeah, his model's terrible. If you've never seen it before, it's really not that good. Plague Drones. All right, these guys legitimately are one of my favorite Nurgle models and just one of my favorite 40k models, period. I remember um, way back in the day in, like, 7th edition, I fought some demon player, and he brought an entire army of these guys, and it was just, like, beautiful. And he had um, he had kit-bashed them. He did them, like, really well the way he did them, and he painted them all unique. They were white. Anyways, seeing something like that, like... Yeah, man, I'll never forget how cool that army looked. Uh, <laughs> the flies, it's the flies. Like, the plague bears, whatever, they're, they're all right, but they're just plague bears. But those flies, oh my god, dude. GW did amazing on them. Like, that is a scary freaking looking thing. If I saw that flying through the sky, I would probably just off myself for sure. 
Leg drones are great. The wings are good. Oh, yes. Very good point on the wings. Uh, I have used those wings on other kit bashes before. I think I kit bashed a uh, Demon Prince or something like that. Yes, the wings are phenomenal. They do have other bits, too. So, like, you can change out their tails. It's normally... You can do a spike or the <laughs> weird uh, uh, word I can't say type thing. Um... So, yes, you definitely got kit bash material. Uh, as I'm always going to say, with every Nurgle ever, very fun to paint, uh, very easy to paint, especially boils. Like, it seems silly, but boils are actually kind of paint, especially if you're, um, maybe you're not that good a painter or you're, like, just starting to get into the advanced stuff or whatever. Stuff like these, they have a lot of little details hidden in them that you can make, uh, make pop. Uh, very happy with these guys for sure, and there's some really good 3D prints out there as well. Uh, I think... I don't want to put too many models in S tier is the problem, but I do think, uh, I think they go top of damn good. I could see why some people may not care for them, especially the Plague Bearer up on top. I could see that maybe like, eh, it's boring or whatever. <laughs> um, I could see some people saying that, but me personally, yeah, I think they go like top of damn good. I do like them more than Kairos. Like I'd rather um, paint these guys than Kairos. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, we got the brand new Demon Prince. GW did fantastic with this guy. Um, I remember when they first did the previews, it wasn't that sure. Yeah, dude, uh, I agree with you, Charlie. I was, I was, I knew from the beginning that I'd be rating a lot of stuff kind of high, um, but that's how it goes. So this guy, pretty awesome. I remember, I'm, I think it was this one they showed first, and a lot of us were like, "Hmm, something's wrong with that face." But then eventually we saw the other faces and like come on this guy's like fantastic it's like something out of doom or something like that which is awesome did they show the rest of them let's see uh, i don't think they do but you got one for all of them so you know Nur oh i like the nurgle one the nurgle one's really cool um uh obviously zinch all that sort of stuff so gw did really good with this guy i actually like him without the wings better too i like that backpack is sick um yeah i think gw did fantastic with this guy i do think uh he's really modern has a lot of detail like this is like the most modern sculpt we have access to to my knowledge i think he does go in s tier look at that sword dude like look at the the little um sigils they got in there i think they did really good yeah tons of components uh so i'll be honest i don't own the kit yet i need to get it uh <laughs> while i was prepping for this video i was like okay after this video i should probably order him I also need to get Vashtor while I'm at it. And, and again, so something I really like with the modern sculpts is how they do the bases. Because bases used to, like, it always, almost always, the bases are really boring. They're fun to spice up yourself, so you get some bark or something put on there. But um, I know it's a small thing, but I like that they include little details like that. And that said, too, let's say that you did run multiples of these guys, which you could, um, and some people will. You could, and I, I probably would, actually change what his foot's standing on. Go outside and find some rocks or get some bark or whatever um, and spice it up a little. I think uh, GW did S tier. Um, this is an amazing model. I'm very happy with how that turned out. I think... You know, truthfully, he's probably the best one we looked at yet. If you're talking about, like, D, uh, yeah, detail-rich model or whatever, he's probably the best we've seen so far. So I'll put him top of S. Ooh, but we got a contender. Uh, Keeper of Secrets. <laughs> Are they really a contender? Here, give me one second. My Keeper's right behind me. Let me grab it and make sure that I rate this properly. All right, it's confirmed. She's pretty sick. Uh, <laughs> I will say the issue there, though, is she's kind of small. Uh, when I picked up the model, I'm like, hmm, I thought she'd be a lot bigger. But we, we shouldn't hold it that much against them because, um, you know, whatever. It's still, still a centerpiece model. Of all the greater demons... Ooh, of all the greater demons... Let me make sure I think this through before I say... Yeah, of all the greater demons, she's probably my least favorite, honestly. Um, but everybody has their own style and opinion. Again, it is Slanesh, so we do got boobies and then man chest. Um, so, you know, you got, you got some good stuff there. Uh, we'll do Shalaxi separate. Shalaxi is way better. Um, <laughs> so, <clears throat> I do like her a lot, but personally, me personally, I don't think she goes in S tier. I think uh, this is another one of those kids GW could have done better. I'm not sure how. Um, maybe make her more flamboyant um, somehow, so like bigger cape or whatever. But she's just like, um, she's like an average greater demon. We are talking about greater demons, so that right, right away, you got to consider the size and the fact they're centerpiece. That does, like, knock them up, in my opinion. So even if I thought she was trash, I'd still put her up a level. Uh, she's not bad at all. I'm just going to put her in damn good. 
She does have a fun, uh, there's a lot of ways you can change her kit. So you can give her the whip, you can do the shield, which you will do every single time um, for 10th edition, if you care about the rules. Um, so you do got a little bit of variety. You do got different heads you can do. Maybe it's just the head that they put on here that I don't really like or whatever. Um, but for the greater demons, I think she could be better. But I'll put her in damn good. Probably, uh, yeah, right next to Kairos. Probably right behind Kairos, if I'm being honest. <laughs> okay, great unclean one, though. So, all right, now, now we're talking... This is a model any and every demon player should own, in my opinion. If you want to play Chaos Demons, and assuming you aren't, like, anti-Nurgle, because some people are, they think he's, like, overpushed or whatever, uh, but you must own this model. This is um, the best, in, in my book, in my personal opinion, this is the best one. Look at the detail work. The You can see the folds of fat right there. So awesome. You can see the guts. He's got the awesome, uh, the nurglings all over him. Uh, yeah, he's got little nurglings, like, hanging all over him, which I love. Uh, you can grab other ones you got. So I took some of the nurglings from my Death Guard kits and tossed it onto this guy. I think this is one of the best models, period, uh, that GW's ever done, in my opinion. <laughs> look at his, like, look at how nasty that is. Oh, my God, I didn't even realize he's crushing a nurgling. Oh, my God. Um, man, I should almost make a new tier called Great Unclean One tier, because I love this man. Uh, I'm infatuated with this man. No joke, I took this model to my mom's house. There was a girl I was seeing who I always hid my, like, nerdiness from or whatever. I brought this guy over to her. Like, <laughs> I brought this guy everywhere. Because, I will say, I took my time painting this guy. This is my favorite painted model I've ever done, so he probably does have a special place in my heart. Uh, yeah, Charlie, this guy does. Um, so, at the end, I'm going to try to remember to pull up that artist. But there's an artist who does the 3D prints. He made... A, arguably a better version of the great unclean one basically what he did he pulled all he ripped all the models from total war warhammer 3 and then he like spiced them up a little and he made them 3d printable so you got um what is it kairoth kairoth i forget his name but you got the guy who's riding on the dais or whatever looks amazing so yes there's some really good 3d prints i will say i have fun scaling the models because the scales are always off so i had to print a few times until i got one the right size but yes the 3d prints are even better uh, Ross, I agree, like, yeah, maybe he does need his own tier. You know what? We'll do it. Let's do it. And a row above. Tier. Maybe somebody else will join him, we'll see. But, he goes right up there. Super ultra, ultra happy with this guy. Alright, next up we got, uh, we got the named version. So, Rodigus. Rodigus, same, like, how, how could I rate him lower? Like, um, I will say, ooh, let's, uh, let's, let's look here. Hmm, alright, this face is kind of goofy, but there's other faces you can choose. Um, personally, what I did, what I what I really did do, I made the main model Rodigus, and then I magnetized the rest. Um, but whenever I do a Great Unclean one, it's got the Rodigus face, and then the rest is a Great Unclean one. But this guy, yeah, he's up there. Like, uh, how could I rate him lower? Let's see, is he crushing a guy with his butt? Let's check. Ah, oh, he's not. All right, I might hold him back a little. But otherwise, basically identical. It really, you're looking at the face and his uh, and the weapon he's holding. I, I maybe that's what it is. The sword is just cooler, in my opinion. Yes, yeah, regular great unclean one's better. I agree. Well, it, like it's a great unclean one, so he goes in the same tier. Um, but he definitely goes behind the normal one, uh, in my opinion. Lord of Change. Uh, I like him better than Kairos, even though I use Kairos' uh, head on mine. <laughs> uh, why? Uh, yeah, how, how could I rate that higher? Anyways, <clears throat> again, just like Kairos, amazing detail work on the wings. Um, he does have different equipment you can choose, kinda. He's got, like, he's got the staff, and then he's got a book, um, and that's right, you can give him a sword. Oh, he has a silly little, it doesn't look that cool. Uh, they don't show, he's got a silly little staff he, like, holds out at people or whatever. He really doesn't, oh, right, right here. I don't really like that. Like, yes, it itself is cool, but the pose he has with it, meh. He's just, like, shaking. He's like an old man. Like, get off my lawn, you know? Um, <laughs> so, love the model. Excellent centerpiece. This guy stands out. Uh, he might even stand out more than Great Unclean One or whatever. So if you put a bunch of demons on the table and put this guy in the middle, like, people's eyes are going to be drawn to this guy just because, you know, he's got the giant wings that splay out or whatever. Fantastic centerpiece. You can't go wrong with them. Me, personally, I don't really care with for, like, bird stuff that much. I, I apologize to any bird watchers out there. Um, so, I'll put them average. I do like the uh, the little brimstones dancing around. Like, man, okay, that's kind of cute. Um, <laughs> I'll put him... Put him damn good. Yeah, he'll go along with... Uh, 
Yeah, probably above the Keeper, in my opinion, just because he has, like, more detail and kind of stands out more. But yeah, he's damn good, just not fantastic is all. All right, we got the Transweaver. So this one's itty-bitty, itty-bitty little single model. Um, this one definitely showing its age. This is one of the older Slanesh models. Look at that face. Like, kind of kind of ugly, dude. Uh, so I'm <laughs> not too sold on it. The claws aren't the best either. Everything about her, unfortunately, is kind of subpar in my opinion. That said, she is a demon. Like, uh, you know, there's nothing like... Aside from being old and kind of ugly, there's nothing, like, terribly wrong with her. She just doesn't look right. Uh, old, need a new sculpt. A thousand percent. And truthfully, what you do is you just use a demonette. Unfortunately, demonettes aren't that new either. Um, they are better than this. Um, but yeah, this is a model, like, you just kit bash. You just grab one of your normal demonettes and say it's a transweaver. I would never buy this model, even at the, uh, 32 bucks or whatever. That's way too expensive. Maybe, like, eight bucks. Uh, so, uh, unfortunately... <sighs> needs a resculpt. Yeah, I think she goes trash. I, I want to say goofy because she does look goofy, but she's just terrible. Nobody should own that. Like, don't ever go out and buy that. And even if you had it, like, would you want to run it? No. Like, I wouldn't really want to run that. So, she goes pretty down there, honestly. <coughs> uh, same here, Thunder. I, I think uh, a fair amount of their models need a refresh. Um, the Screamers, although, are the Screamers newer? I'm trying to remember. But there's a decent amount, the troops especially. Like, all the troops need a refresh, so I agree with you. It's aside from maybe pink cores, they could probably stay, but the rest of them need, um, need some love. Pox Springer. I actually like this guy. Again, I'm biased to Nurgle pretty heavily. I will say, in person, he looks... He's kind of off. Something's just kind of off about him. I think it's like his guts, the way it falls out. Like, they aren't quite right, and his leg kind of weird. That said, while I'm talking trash about him, I still love the model. He does, even though he, like, kind of just looks like a plague bearer, kind of, he really does stand out from him. If you put him in front of squad or whatever, like, you can tell that he's special. It might be the base, the fact there's rocks on there, and obviously the <laughs> cute little sleepy nurgling uh, chilling on his back or whatever. So, I like him a fair bit, but, like I say, something's just off about him. I do think it's the leg. That leg is off, and the guts are kind of weird. So, not a terrible model by any means, but not the best ever. If you like Nurgle, like, yes, you should get him. He's only 33 bucks, like, not bad at all. I'll put him in. I don't think he quite goes to Goofy. I think he goes bottom of decent. Very, very, very bottom of decent, I think. All right, next up, we got Seekers. Uh, on the tabletop, I love these guys. As models, I actually like them a fair bit, too. Again, like with most of the Slanesh stuff, so actually, uh, Thunder Zeno, you're right, man. Like, Slanesh is who needs a refresh pretty bad, I'm starting to realize. Um, because, yeah, man, look, even in the pictures, these are, like, the old bases and stuff. Um, so GW, come on, and come back to him. They're cool, for sure, especially, the, like, the Seeker themselves are pretty awesome. I love the look of them. Sleek little, um, chicken horses. Pretty cool idea. <laughs> um, and again, it is just basic, uh, uh, demonettes on top. So, they're cool, but could look way better. When GW does a refresh, these will look super amazing. What's the, um, AOS did get a refresh. Let's, uh, all right, we gotta pull it up. I know AOS got new ones. Sorry for the detour. Let's take a look here. Oops. Yes, yeah, take a look at the new ones and see, you know, how they might look if GW does refresh them. Hell Striders. Now, let's look. Are, are they that much better? The Seeker themselves do look better. And then, yeah, they can just put get a super detailed model on top. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, and actually, I'm half surprised that, like, GW didn't just, like, somehow fit these into 40K. Like, I'm half surprised they weren't in the Index. Maybe they'll come in the uh, Codex. Because, yeah, usually you can use both, um, you can use the ranges across both games. Um, so kind of surprised there. Anyways, that was the detour. I think they're okay. Um... Yeah, only the Greater Demon Slanesh looks good. Uh, well, you know, don't forget in Infernal Rapture. She's she's pretty amazing, in my opinion. Um, <laughs> uh, so I don't think they're bad in any sense of the word or whatever. So I think we'll just put them next to regular Demonettes. Um, probably above them, honestly. Like, they do stand out a little bit more. Um, but they're just, they're just decent. They're just all right. We would prefer to have new kits, but we'll still run them otherwise. Ooh, all right. Changeling. This guy is sick. Uh, itty bitty model, but that doesn't matter that much. 
this is, when you're talking cheap kits, like, okay, maybe you got a kid or a friend or somebody who's, like, interested in getting into 40K and likes, like, the chaos stuff or whatever, get them this model, man, as, like, a present. It's only 35 bucks. This is an amazing-looking model. And while I say he's small, for the small ones, he's actually, like, okay-sized. Like, he's bigger than, like, a Space Marine or whatever, at, at least, like, height-wise. Such a cool model, man. Look at that. The super dark face. Can't even make out his face or whatever. Love it. The staff is okay. The staff could be better, but everything else about him, amazing. Great model that sold out everywhere. Yep. Yep. Yeah, isn't that wild, man? The uh, I swear GW, like, messes with that stuff or whatever. There's so many times, so... I've been playing since the 90s or whatever. I almost always used to, like, just sell my armies when I was done, so I'd sell them on eBay. And it's ridiculous how much you can charge for certain units because they're constantly sold out or whatever. These days, I, I won't... I decided I'm not going to sell my models again, but, uh, like, War Dogs, I'm pretty sure they're still sold out for Chaos Knights. I was very tempted to sell them because right now I'm pretty sure they're, like, something ridiculous per. It's, like, 80 bucks per. Last I looked. I haven't checked since, but, um, you could resell them for a lot more than you bought them for. Anyways, uh, Changeling, S-tier, in my eyes. I think they're S-tier. Now, they're not great on clean one tier. They're not that, um, uh, fantastic, but I think, especially when you consider the price and all that stuff, yeah, they go up there. Um, ooh, I gotta start. It's hard to rank them with each other, all the ones in S-tier. For now, I'm just gonna say they're all equal. All these guys are equal with each other. Uh, yeah. Been working on world leaders need eight bound but they're out everywhere oh yeah nope that's another one those are ones um maybe you'd use possessed like as a as a proxy or whatever maybe but yeah even even i would want um yeah even i want those models you know truthfully what you might do is buy the um oops look into the aos the blades of corn or whatever and see if they have any cool models that are close obviously it's not the same as like having the real model or whatever but these are one of those things that you like uh like wraith mongers i bet you those would work perfect as uh eight bound i will say too like uh mighty skull crushers these are these would make awesome blood crushers um i do like the aos model range they used to have the start collecting that was really cheap like 85 bucks and i thought that was perfect for starting a world eaters army um, anyways, that's a detour. Um, <laughs> so, Changeling, S-tier, goes up there. <clears throat> Alright, we got the, uh, Seeker Chariot, I believe. Come on now. Do -do -do -do. Seeker Chariot. Um, of the Slanesh models, pretty cool. I will say, okay, of the Chariots, the Seeker's the worst one. The Hell Flare and the, uh, Exalted Seeker Chariot, those ones are way cooler. Um, so actually, when I'm when I'm considering it with the other um, chariots, this one is kind of goofy, just because it's really small. It's really like barren. The uh, chariot it's actually on. I guess it does fit Slanesh. Like she'd be sleek and agile or whatever. But it just um, it doesn't look right. And again, the the demonets themselves are kind of old. I will say of all the demonets we've looked at, like okay, that one's pretty baller. She reminds me of like Mad Max or whatever. But, can we get a zoom in? Can we get a... Yeah, it's just like... Like, look at that. <laughs> she looks like a towel or whatever. Um, so, yeah, not the best. Not the best ever. I wonder if the base really does come with that little helmet right there. Because that'd be kind of tight. I'd want that. Uh, double long whips. I Yeah, um, the wh so the whips do look tight. On the Exalted Seeker Chariot, I think she especially looks really baller on that one. Because an Exalted Seeker Chariot, if you don't already know, it's literally two of these smashed together. Like, that's literally the kit, is you, you used to have to buy two of these boxes, and then, um, I don't even know where you found the instructions, but yeah, you uh, kit bash them together. Way better on there. On here, like, yeah, she is, like, the best part of the model, but everything else, eh, I'm not really that sold on. Honestly, truthfully, the Seeker Chariot, again, the other ones are way better. The Seeker Chariot, I'm gonna put her in, uh, Goofy. I, I do think she looks Goofy. Probably goes above, uh, above Skull Taker, though. All right, we got the, uh, the Mask of Slanesh. This one's okay. Again, I'm a, as I've been saying constantly with Slanesh, kind of goofy. Uh, the painter did fantastic here. Like, look at those leggings. Like, that's pretty cool right there. Uh, you got the, uh, got the... I'm trying to remember the space clown's name. Anyways, they got <laughs> that sort of aspect right there. Um, she's all right. She's all right. Let's, uh, let's flip her around. Great movement in the cape. Uh, cool, like, the, the, um, I don't know what that's called, the floofy neck thing, got the mask or whatever, like, okay, that's alright, but her face, her face is terrible, her face kind of ruins it, and also, too, the, the pose is alright, like, yeah, she's dancing, but is she, like, it's not obvious she's dancing, she's kind of just, like, 
spinning around in circles it looks like so unfortunately really to me it's the face that holds her back everything else is all right she's also itty bitty she is 35 bucks not that big a deal her rules kind of suck too um <laughs> so i think me personally it's got the mask to hide the face yeah exactly like maybe you got to cut the arm and like repose it so the mask is actually over her face that would actually look kind of cool to be truthful um me personally i'm gonna put her in goofy i just something's off with that girl uh, when I look at her, something just don't look right. All right, we're on to the corn. Uh, is Ren Master? Okay, we're on the Ren Master. I wasn't sure if it's the uh, Skull Cannon. I freaking love this model. I could certainly see why some people may not, but I freaking love them. The uh, the the Ren Master itself, or whatever. What is it, Ren Master on the Blood Throne? The Blood Throne itself is sick. Like, sure, it's got, like, a motorcycle tire, which is kind of weird if we're talking about demons. Um, but <laughs> the rest of it is slick. I do enjoy the dudes on the front. They're just out there all Mad Max style, like, uh, um, slicing folks up. The dude on top, he looks better than the um, Skull Taker. Okay, he doesn't look better than Skull Taker, but he's on the same level as Skull Taker in my eyes. That sword is freaking huge. I loved putting this model together, and I loved painting him. I would definitely put him up there. Yeah, easy S tier. I do think he goes up there. He's not um, great on clean one tier, but he he belongs way up there. Like, just the Blood Throne itself is such a cool little model. Um, I thoroughly enjoy it. Love these models. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Total War Warhammer 3, they um, they go in there and they just, like, spin in circles. And, like, yeah, I love Total War Warhammer 3. I've considered, like, streaming some games or whatever, but so many people have done that, so I don't know. Uh, all right, yeah, S tier. Where does he belong in S tier? I think... I, I like him a quite bit, uh, a quite fair bit, so I'm gonna put him, like, up there um, with the Beast of Nurgle. Skull Cannon. So, uh, Skull Cannon, obviously, extremely similar. Arguably better. Arguably better. Um, just because we're talking about a cool-ass cannon here. The cannon, by the way, does look, like, awesome. Uh, the way I did it, too, what's cool is you don't need to magnetize or glue or anything. For my model, at least, these things, like, um, pressure fit pretty well. So I put these guys, instead of being up on the top, they are constantly on the front, like the Blood Throne. And I just clip in or, or take out the uh, cannon as I need it. The 3D prints for these guys are everywhere, and they're also pretty awesome. Uh, I'll try to remember to post them at the end. His name's E-Man G. E-Man G is the artist um, that I keep bringing up or whatever. Uh, but these guys, yeah, pretty slick. Like, look at that. The the I, I wouldn't call this a blood throne, but I guess the skull cannon has a freaking face on it. Very happy with this guy. I honestly, I think he probably goes above the blood master, or the Ren master. So, yeah, we'll put him up there. <laughs> All right, blue scribes. From a fluff and, like, idea perspective, these are some of my favorite models, period. When it comes to, like, the, the thought behind them or whatever. The, what is it? Zinch sent him out to, like, collect all of his spells because he got shattered into a million pieces. And he doesn't want them to know the spells. So they just, like, one of them writes it down and one of them recites it until they find the right spell. They got cool th um, thought behind them. If you've never read the lore, like, get you know, on 1D4chan or something and read about them. Unfortunately, though, as much as I love them, these guys, again, very old sculpt. Very, very, very old sculpt that's very much showing this age. It's also the, um, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's like resin or whatever, uh, fine cast. It's also fine cast, so that alone, like, detracts a bunch from it. Mainly it's the, uh, the disc they're on. The disc doesn't look right in person. The rest of them, pretty cool. Like, um, the books that they're reading and all that, but, again, it's fine cast, terrible name because it doesn't have fine detail or whatever fine cast is terrible you gotta get it you do have to get in there with an exacto knife and fix all sorts of stuff with these guys um yeah exa exactly thunder fine cast alone takes them down to like trash tier almost um i don't think they're trash because they are fun they're like fun uh you know they look funny uh and goofy or whatever in a good way so they are like kind of chill to put on the table also, too, they're, like, too low down, so even the stand they're on is kind of goofy or whatever. So I do think these guys are, like, solid goofy tier. They just look way off. Maybe they belong in trash because they're fine cast. But, again, the saving grace is that they still have, like, a fun idea behind them. So people are still interested just from, like, when if they know the lore, uh, then that alone makes them interested in them. One of my favorite models, period, though, of, like, all... All of Warhammer ever. The Blue Scribes are one of my favorite, um, like, lore stories. All right, Feculent Naroma. Um, it's terrain. Um, <laughs> so we do got that. Uh, does the kit only... Yeah, it's only a single Feculent Naroma, too. I wish it came with three of them, or even just two would be way better. 
it is pretty awesome though like for a nurgle tree there's nothing not to like if you have it in person or if you're able to see good in the pictures or whatever it's full of maggots which is awesome that's an awesome theme right there um and you know like they did pretty good it's kind of like a beast of nurgle turned into a tree in a sense but it's terrain it's really small compared to other terrain um for 50 bucks i'd want it to be a little bigger than it is so it's not terrible by any mean uh, is a great piece narwhal is a great piece um it's fun to run as terrain that's for sure so like i don't run it as like in my mall in my army like pain points but i definitely bring it to matches so we can have more terrain if we need it or whatever um i don't think it's like bad in any sense of the word but i don't think it's amazing nothing to write home about in my humble opinion uh so i'll just put it uh just straight good so it goes like bottom of good like <laughs> it's uh save it until you own all the other demon models but then yes it's worth looking at and maybe one day it'll get really good rules in ninth it had okay rules if i'm not mistaken but in tenth like it's the worst terrain piece i've seen so far of any army uh all right exalted flamer um yeah yeah same issue as the regular flamer just something's off about him something i don't really like he kind of looks i look stupid um from the side or whatever i don't mean to be like that harsh on him because it's still still a demon we're talking about but i don't really like him in per he does look cooler in person than these pictures are making out i will say because he is kind of big like that flame coming out of him is quite long um so it is cool to put on the table especially if you're running with the other flamers like yeah he'll stand out but like that face right there the the face on top of a face sure it's zinchian or whatever but eh, i don't really care for it i think they could have gone way farther with this guy like down here is really basic have more like more faces coming out of them or something cool like that um so unfortunately don't think he's trash by any means but he's just goofy uh, i don't really like him i wouldn't really run him unless i needed him in my army or whatever um yeah we'll put him uh we'll put him, like middle middle of goofy tier i think now the uh what is it exalted flamer chariot is that the name let's look here burning chariot of zinge this one so of all the trash i just talked about the other guy this one's actually way better uh because it has the chariot i i think they did pull off the chariot pretty well and he really does stand out with the flame and whatnot um coming off this guy so let's let's uh let's see if we can spin them around yeah I, I like it a fair bit like these guys just sort of floating there's no little um stands right there which is cool the regular stand is hidden under the flame like it's kind of uh unique relatively unique um for the warhammer models got the dudes hopping off which by the way you wouldn't do you would just well most likely you wouldn't do you'd keep these guys and use them as uh more uh blue whores for your pink whores when they split but i actually really like the uh, burning chariot models i like all the zinchian um chariots period spoiler alert so mm, i think he goes he's not like fantastic by any means but i think he goes good i think he's just a good all around um yeah i'll put him above the uh feculent normal i i like him a fair bit uh by the way if you can still get the start collecting zinch kits i doubt they're out there anymore those used to be the best deal ever i made sure to buy a bunch of those boxes um as soon as i started doing the stupid combat patrols i knew i had to buy the start collectings so if you ever find one for around 90 bucks or whatever, you can get this guy in there plus a bunch of other stuff. Anyways, uh, that's a detour. All right, next up we got Fate Skimmer. Like I just spoiled, I freaking, I like the uh, the chariots quite a bit. This one too is cool. Instead of flames, it's got like tentacles. Um, like that's pretty awesome. Charlie says, I hope they added more undivided demons the way demons... But the way demons have been built heavy around Bellacor. Yes, I agree. Um, I also, too, what I, I really hope that they add... Well, not add, but I hope that they make it so that you can do more lists than just Monster Mash. Monster Mash is, like, the only way to run them currently. I will say, like, that's the only way that we know of to run them. Maybe there's other ways to do it. I was thinking of doing a list with three Rinmaster, for example, and do, like, no greater demons, and then a bunch of... I know they're terrible, but, like, blood letters and stuff. I'm very curious to see how that would do, because Rinmasters boost everything up a lot. But... Yeah, I hope that they um, fix it so that you don't only have to run Monster Mash. And you're right, like, adding uh, undivided kits could be a good way to do it. 100% they need that refresh. Slanesh needs that refresh um, big time. So maybe while they're doing that, they can give us some of the AOS models. Ooh, uh, who's that, like, host to Gluttony or whatever? The um, the big fat dude in a, in a chariot on the Slanesh AOS army? Like, I know he wouldn't fit in 40k so much, but I want something like that. I want a big fat guy. 
uh, to call the Fat Archon when I run uh, <laughs> run Slow Nash. Anyways, I like the Fate Scammer quite a bit. Like, yes, compared to the uh, Burning Charity, he's a lot more boring or whatever. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't stand out nearly as much. But he's a pretty cool model. Um, I think I think he goes in decent, just like uh, upper decent. I think. And Glus or or Cilion, is that his name? I love that model so much. GW did really good with that. Ooh, all right. Next up, we got um, uh, having a brain fart on it. So Lesky, yeah. So Lesky, the Vengeful Allegiance, another one with kind of cool lore. It's almost like lore written for chicks or whatever, which is fine. Uh, <laughs> but they like fell in love, and now they uh, now they always fight together, which is beautiful. Um, and does actually, I'm talking crap. It fits the Samesh theme, so actually that's kind of cool. So I do like their lore. Um, awesome model, man. It's smaller than you might think, but when you got two of them on top of each other, like, yes, it is kind of tall and does stand out still. Uh, I like him. I like him a fair bit, especially the dude on the bottom, the prince or whatever. I think he looks pretty tight because, because yeah, he's supposed to be a demon prince, but he looks different than every other demon prince I've seen. Like, that's unique. I like it. She too, like with that awesome whip, the whip has like awesome movement to it and whatnot. Um, so I do enjoy this model a fair bit. Out of stock, of course. That's going to be a common theme uh, <laughs> across most, most uh, Games Workshop products. Um, I don't think they're S-tier. Like, I don't think they're very high up there like by any means, but I do think they're solid good tier, me personally. So I will put them probably above the Nurglings. Probably, yeah, above Nurglings, behind the Flush Hounds. I do think the Flush Hounds have a pretty good kit, though. Uh, so, yeah. Ooh, okay, we knew this moment was coming. Uh, in fact, I'm just going to cheat. Alright, he goes in great on clean one tier. Um, Slimex, um, Slimex Hor <laughs> uh, Horticulous Slimex. There we go, got it backwards. Favorite model, period. Almost my favorite model ever made, ever. Um, I don't know, GW, whoever got to sculpt this guy, they must have been like, just do whatever you want. Like, <laughs> you, got, you don't have to fit any theme or whatever, just make us a sick model. And he's like, okay. Uh, yeah, dude, this snail. This snail. Everything about the snail is... Um, like Thunder just said, easy S tier. Easy, easy, easy S tier. The moment I learned about this model and saw it, I knew I had to get them. I went to the store that day and bought them. I would almost run three of them if I could. They are relatively small. Like, um, they seem bigger in the pictures. This is, I guess that's a better representation. They're relatively small, but doesn't matter. This is such an awesome model. If, uh, if you're looking for a painting project, whether you play demons or not, and you don't already have this model, go out and get it. You like painting? You will have a field day painting this guy. The shell, um, especially, was one of my favorite things to paint. And again, it helps you. Maybe you're trying to get better at painting, get more technical or whatever. This guy is fantastic for it. The tree, so you're doing the bark. Again, the shell. The shell's really hard if, uh, if you're trying to get it like super fancy or whatever. The snail can be easy to paint, or you can go all out and make them like, amazing. What's up, John? Welcome to my friend. Glad you make it, man. I remember you from a while ago. Um, so, yeah, glad you're here. Uh, <laughs> so, Slimex, he goes, he, he belongs in the Great Unclean one tier. Maybe, you know, maybe I need to make another tier that's, like, Slimex tier. Um, but, uh, he goes up there. In fact, I'll put him above Rodigus, but I do still think the Great Unclean one's, like, the best-looking model ever. Um, again, if you don't already own it, and you like painting or whatever, go out and get Slimex. You will not be disappointed, I promise you. Oops, that's, uh, oops, we're getting ahead of ourselves. All right, Soul Grinder. So... <clears throat> earlier I mentioned some of the, I think it was the blood letters. I was like, ooh, these are like something out of Doom. This guy is something out of Doom, the game, 100%. So, unfortunately, so I love the model. This is, this is another one of my favorite Warhammer models, period. Unfortunately, he does look goofy. There's something wrong with him in person. I think his, um, honestly, I think it's just like the legs part, like, isn't big enough, or like doesn't look right. It's kind of, kind of like they just like glued a demon on top of like, kind of crappy crab legs, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, again, I do love the model very much, because it's cool. And this isn't, that's, these are, nah. This is another one of those models some new player or somebody who's never seen demons might see and will be tempted to, like, pick up and, like, play around with, because it is so cool. When people think, like, futuristic sci-fi demons, there's a decent chance that they're thinking something like this. So, while I complain about them looking goofy... I do have to give him a bunch of points just for, like, the overall idea and the fact that, yeah, his, uh, from above his legs, like, super awesome. Like, very good job. He's really old, too. Um, he's, like, from the 90s, I think. Uh, maybe 5th edition or something. Let's see, John says, if they had the legs be more demon-y, 
than all robot. That'd be cooler. Um, have them integrate better. Uh, yes, I wish I could spin this model so I should uh, could show you guys. Because it really, yeah, it doesn't mesh that well on the bottom. It's really, he's kind of like thin at the waistline when he connects to that. And it just doesn't look right. And the legs really don't look right in, in person or whatever. I wish I could spin it so I could show you guys. Um, that said, still a sick model. Like, still go out and get him. Especially rules-wise, I think he's actually pretty good. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Crab sells the soul to chaos. Yes, I could definitely see that. Especially the blue version. So, luckily, he, he has a bunch of stuff, a bunch of saving graces, luckily. Like, he could belong in Goofy, maybe even Trash, but because of that upper half, I think he goes in Decent. I think he's saved by it. Again, we are talking about a sci-fi demonic killer crab thingy, which is just an awesome idea, period, so that saves him a lot. I'll actually put him, uh... Eh, I don't think I can put him that high. <laughs> I was like, ah, I'll put him above that. I will put him above the Demonettes, because I d genuinely... The Demonettes need a refresh. They're not bad at all. This guy could use a refresh, but not, like, an emergency refresh. Like, he's still decent as he is. All right, Blood Crushers. We all know these guys are probably going to go pretty high. So, excuse me one moment. <clears throat> I'm also going to take a sip of coffee, so cheers, friends. Oh, yeah, Daddy needed... So, of course, these guys are going pretty high up there. Oh, I killed my mouse sensitivity. There we go. All right. <laughs> Naturally, these guys are going quite high. The Blood Crusher themselves, so the demons are right on top of. Mwah! Mwah! GW did fantastic. Um, look at this guy. The, the, um, the poses they have. I love the darker paint jobs, too. I painted mine generic, so mine are red, but I wish I'd done them dark like this, because that is awesome. Uh, what did it say? John said, Did y'all know on GW, if the model has a 360 view, you can drag it and see the model like a bird's eye view? What? Okay, I was hoping this... Uh, okay, do what now? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, John. Okay, cool, dude. I did not know that. Wow. Can I go underneath? Can I go underneath? Ah, I can't go underneath. Whoa, that is like, I'll barely ever use that, but that's still awesome. <laughs> Today you learn, guys. Uh, you know, this is why you got to come in and, uh, and chat. Anyway, so <laughs> I love these models. I would run them for days or whatever. I would do an entire model or entire army of blood crushers if I could. I am super happy with these guys. They're relatively new, too. They came with the same kit. I forgot the name, but that same kit that came out, it's like 2018 or whatever. So they're relatively fresh sculpts. Um, a bunch of them are going to have, like, uh, yeah, little rocks on their bases and stuff. Super ultra happy. If you are a new player to Warhammer um, and getting into Chaos Demons, uh, you should probably get these guys. I think the main kit comes with them. Let's check the start collecting kit. Yep. So if you're brand new, just get the get one of the combat patrols. Unfortunately, there's too many blood letters. Everything else is usable, though. Two, uh, two units of Flesh Hounds is excellent. I wish I had more blood crushers, but whatever. Anyways, um, excellent model. Looks fantastic. Fun to paint. Everything about them is good. So we will put them... Honestly, I think they go S tier. Yeah, I think they I think they belong S tier. Where in S tier, though? Um, yeah, honestly, truthfully, I put them kind of high up there. I, I think they're pretty amazing. They're like the quintessential corn unit. Blood, blood crushers, period, are, are amazing. You're looking for bold spots. Yeah, if I ever had a model, I'd definitely... Uh... <laughs> have a hat on uh all right scar brand uh this guy is slick this guy yeah dude i i love this model a lot because the model fits the fluff the model fits the fluff like perfectly he uh if you don't know the fluff he thought well he got tricked into thinking he could overthrow corn of all freaking gods like what was this guy thinking and corn being the baller he is he didn't kill the guy no he just whooped his ass whooped his ass across the uh demonscape or whatever it's called uh <laughs> and uh burned off his wings so now he can't fly so i think they did really good on the wings being all scraped up and unusable anymore still kept him on there too which is cool because uh yeah he stands out sure like okay he'll peek over ruins a little easier which kind of sucks but everything else about this guy his face too yeah yeah look at that face dude look at that um i am incredibly um incredibly in love with this model unfortunately bloodthirsters themselves are better like rules wise so i'm not going to be running scarbrand too much but you could run them uh look at his axe too there's not a single theme to not like oh oh let's get the up down or the top view yeah <laughs> anyways uh i'm very happy with scarbrand uh yet another one of those like you own most demons and you're looking for a new um kit to get into painting or maybe you don't own demons but you just want a cool kit to paint you can't go wrong with scarbrand i put them way up there um 
Yeah, I'll put him S tier. Yeah, I think he goes S tier. Probably like lower S tier, um, but I like him quite a bit. All right, Bloodthirster. Bloodthirster, so rules-wise, way better than Scarbrand, in my humble opinion. Model-wise, I would also say better than Scarbrand. I know some people don't like the pose he has, um, at least this pose specifically, because it's kind of like, it is kind of funny, because it's sort of like, meh, you know, <laughs> like, holding out his arms all weird. Uh, but you can make him look cooler. So, like, this pose, I think, is better with the whip and whatnot. Um, you do want to run him with the great axe, so you'd probably use this one more often. I will say, too, this little thing right here, I'm not that sold on. It makes them taller as well, so I didn't use this one on my model. Um, I just put him on the ground kind of like that. But I am uh, very pleased with the Bloodthirster. I think he's a slick model for sure. Yet again, if you're looking for a painting project and you don't already own a Greater Demon, this would probably be one of the first Greater Demons you can look at, aside from the Great Unclean one. Um, and yep, I agree, Thunder. Big Axe all the way. Not only for rules, but even looks-wise. Like, come on, dude. That's pretty slick. Uh, that's literally the size of a person or, like, a space marine. That would be so cool to see in real life. Not really, but, like, it would uh, for the split second of your life. Uh, like I said, I think he's one of the best ones. Uh, I actually saw... Uh, truthfully, I'm gonna put him top of S tier. Not great on clean one tier. Ooh, or is he? No, I think he just goes... He goes top of S tier, uh, in my opinion. Ooh, all right, next up we got Bellicor. So, is Bellicor even on the website? Like, what's going on here? Let's, uh, let, let's see. That's weird, it wouldn't show it when I look at all demons. But anyways, all right, here he is. Uh, we know where this guy's going. We know where this guy's going. If I'm being honest, he probably belongs in the uh, Great Unclean One tier. So that's probably where I'm going to put him here in a second. That base is 10 out of 10. The model itself is 10 out of 10. You combine them together, you got a 20 out of 10. Uh, so <laughs> I like him a lot. I will say I dropped mine off the top of my shelf, so I snapped the front of his sword. I need to figure out how to fix that. I like literally for like a week, I checked the floor around there to like try to find the tip, but I couldn't. But um, anyways, that's a little anecdote for y'all. Ooh, all right, top down view so we can see the base. Yeah, I wish I could zoom in. Nope, can't zoom in. Anyways, uh, I've said it a bunch of times, but I truly mean it with this guy. If you don't already have a centerpiece model that you need to paint, especially for demons, uh, go out and buy Bellacore. You can stop the stream right now and uh, go out and buy Bellacore. This guy is uh, S tier all around. Not only looks wise, but um, rules rise as well. I am uh, infatuated with this guy. He, he does belong in the Great Unclean One tier. Probably, truthfully, I'll put him second place. I still, Great Unclean One has a special place in my heart. I think he goes uh, right there with them. Yeah, Bellacore tier. Uh, yes, I could most certainly make a Bellacore tier. Uh, he is sick. Uh, what's cool, too, you can do them in two versions. Um, it's not that big a diff, but you can do the... So this one has the AOS uh, body. You can also put a Space Marine there. Also, too, you can do um, Space Marine helmets instead of skulls. Pretty sure I stuck with the skulls just because... Come on, man. I'm talking about school, skulls on chains here. Um, but, yeah, he does have some variety a little bit. All right, Shalaxy. I do the search. Hey! I think, so I do think she'll actually looks better than the Keeper Secrets. Keeper is, like, yeah, she's elegant and all that sort of stuff, but this is, like, when I think Slanesh, I'm kind of thinking more like this, where they're, like, um, extravagant or, like, out there. They want attention on them or whatever. So the hair um, and the, the beautiful dress, I do think is more them. Can I spin you? Good. Yeah, the, um... The cape, I guess I'll call it. It looks awesome on Shalaxi. How it's like split down the middle. And look at that sculpting right there. <laughs> Coming off the leg. Uh, got the tail. Super ultra fantastic model. I uh, I really thoroughly uh, like Shalaxi. Now, like I mentioned with the Keeper, they're surprisingly smaller than you would think in person. But compared to like normal models, yes, they still stand out there. I do think... Um, I think maybe it is the cape. She does look like thicker than a normal keeper, which is good. Um, but Shlaxi, I like a lot. Like I mentioned, I like her more than the normal keeper secrets. So we'll put her pretty up there. We'll put her... Do we put her in S tier or A tier? Um... Hmm. Yeah, you know what? With the hair and, and fitting what my imagination would think of her a Slanesh model. I do think, yes, low S tier. I agree, John. Yeah, I think, uh, like, low S. She goes kind of down there. Um, oh, man, I like the Infernal Rapture so much, though. So I think, yeah, we'll put her bottom of S. You could argue she belongs, like, somewhere higher up, but we'll put her down there just because, come on, man, that that is so cool. The harp, harp made out of a guy's guts. Uh, can't really beat that. All right, I think this is just Flux Master. I don't think he's on the website. Let's check. <laughs> 
Nah, okay, so just a regular Flux Master. Um, he's cool, like the face. I wish I had a bigger one. Let's let's see. Eh, fuck it. Um, he's cool, but nothing too special. The Moon Mask, I do, like, thoroughly enjoy. So, doesn't go in goofy or nothing. He just, like, average, average C tier. Um, maybe, maybe, like, mid C tier. Uh, oh, crap. Okay, guys, what is this one's name? Um, I'm having a brain fart. The, uh... Not Infernal and Rapturous, of course. Ah, uh, crap. <laughs> uh, I love that model. All right, now I gotta, like... Yeah, give me one second. I can pull it up. <laughs> do, 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 do. Chaos Demons Index. Nash. <clears throat> so, how's the weather? Um... <laughs> oh, almost there. All right, all right. I'm in Slanesh. Let's see. Sorry, guys. Contorted Epitome! Yeah, we got it! Contorted Epitome! Uh, are they on the website anymore? Hey! Okay, see, that's weird. GW, you need to fix your website. Why aren't you listing all these everywhere? Contorted Epitome? Love this model. This is a fantastic model. Again, they came from the relatively new kit. I think it was called Wrath, Wrath and Rapture, I think was the name of the kit. It had all the new sculpts for demons. This one is one of the better sculpts that came from that kit, in my opinion. Yet again, a lot smaller than you might think in person, but um, that's pretty typical. Obviously, I've said it a bunch, so it's not that rare. I love the poses. These guys dancing around the portal, pretty awesome. The tentacles look really cool. Painting the um, portal was really fun, like trying to figure out how to do that like so it actually looks decent, really fun. You could do a basic, so you could just like paint it blue and then wash it. That'll work. Maybe come back to it later and do highlights or whatever. I am very impressed with this model. I love it a lot. I don't think its rules are that terrible either. It's, uh, I think it's 80 points and it has 8 wounds and like T6 and all this stuff. So it's not like the worst thing ever. Unfortunately, it can only be attached to demonettes, which really holds it back quite a bit. But, uh, yeah, fantastic model. Yet another one, if you don't already own it and you like Snash, like, yeah, man, go, go out and get it. This will be a fun one to paint and very fun to put on the table. Um, and in fact, if you think about it, this is what newer demonettes could look like if they were re-sculpted. Let's see, where's the face again? So, much better, like, details and whatnot. Uh, I like it a lot. And the hair, the hair being, like, very slaneshy, man. It needs to stand out. They would, like, they're one of those annoying chicks from um, high school that, like, you know, have the goth phase times three or whatever. <laughs> so they got attention. Anyways, <clears throat> uh, I think it goes S tier. I think it's amazing. Um, probably below Shalaxy. Eh, you know what? I lie. I'll put it above Infernal and Rapturous. I really do like that model quite a bit. Ooh, all right. Exalted uh, Secret Chariot. I doubt it's on the website, but let's see. Uh, Secret Chariot. Of course, they're not going to show it. It's way cooler. Um, I like it way more than the normal Secret Chariot, because, again, it's literally two of them bashed together. It takes up, like, the entire base and whatnot. You got to, like, put the base sideways and all this stuff. I like it quite a bit um ah oh man <laughs> 40k exalted seeker chariot let's find a better picture because um it really is sick yeah there we go yeah so kind of better really blurry but whatever <laughs> uh and actually this is the hell flare because the exalted one will have um a bunch of uh seekers driving it i can't find a good picture i should have came more prepared hey here we go all right there we go Look at how much space this takes up. I like this one so much. And again, we mentioned it way earlier, the um, the double whip person, how cool they look. It looks really good on the Exalted. Peaks out from the base. I am, like, very happy with this model. Yet again, the Demonettes themselves are kind of getting old. They, they definitely need a refresh. But luckily, there's so much going on in this model, like, you're not going to see that. Um, you're going to be looking at everything else going on with it. I am very pleased with the model. I don't know if it goes in S tier. But I think it's a damn good. Uh, so yeah, I'm putting the damn good tier. Probably above Plague Bearers. I do like Skull Taker quite a bit. Um, yeah, we'll just put her down there. So like, just lower damn good tier. Oh, uh, John, you are 100% correct. Uh, everything about uh, Demonettes can snap if you just look at them wrong. Uh, <laughs> so 100%, I'm like near positive. The whips have snapped off on my model, and then God knows how many other pieces. Uh, the arms always snap off as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, and uh, and uh, Mr. Thunder, yeah, dude, the model literally does not fit on the base, uh, <laughs> which is, it's okay, but yeah, it uh, definitely pops off. The back of there pops off quite a bit. 
Uh, we got Hellflare. We just saw it a second ago from the similar thing. It's okay. I don't think it's nearly as good as the Exalted because it has a lot of empty space um, going on in the uh, on the base. So I don't think it's terrible. I'll just put it very bottom of good because um, it does look chill. You know, a bunch of like blades gonna slice you up. Like that's pretty cool. Uh, what is the corn? Uh, the corn. Uh, Freaking, <laughs> uh, man, I'm in brain fart. What's the corn uh, thing called? I forget the name. I don't think they sell on the website anymore. Um, it was like the blood altar or something like that. Oops. Let's see. If I just look blood, what corn stuff? Oh, okay. Nope, not on there. Anyways, this model is okay. It makes really good terrain for sure. But aside from that, like nothing too fancy. And yet again, like I've said a million times, it's really small. Um, so, unfortunately, I don't think it goes too high. It's just decent. Makes great table terrain. Makes awesome table terrain. But beyond that, like, meh. Meh. Whatever. Spoil Puck Scrivener. I... Does... Does, uh... Does GW not sell this anymore? What the hell? Oops. How could you not sell Spoil... What is going on here? <laughs> How could you not sell Spoil Puck Scrivener? Spoil Puck Scrivener. This is another one of my favorite models, period. Uh, yes, I am very biased with, uh, with Jericho, but come on, look at the, look at the, um, look at the theme and the, and the, like, the coolness that's, uh, <laughs> that's coming out of this model. Everything about him is awesome. The face, the face looks awesome. The way they did that, how it, uh, wraps around and he's shouting at you from over his shoulder. What is, I think he's, like, so Nurgle's normally really jolly and whatnot. I think this guy is actually an asshole. I'm pretty sure he like yells at everybody and like um, tells them what to do. I'm pretty sure that's the theme behind him. He's only available in the Vanguard box. Ah, is that what it is? Um, everything about the small I really love. Look at the little Nurgling, um, <laughs> like eating the paper. Like um, so much like yeah, just just fun and like cool factor. Um, definitely coming off this guy. I like him a uh, boatload. Yeah, I'm gonna rate him pretty high. Painting him was fantastic again. Doing the lips, all um, doing the lips and the teeth and the um, the throat was actually really fun to do like different colors than you'd normally do with Nurgle, um, bringing in the purple and whatnot. So yeah, I'm gonna rate him quite highly. I don't think he goes like S tier. I think he does go S tier. I'm lying. Uh, yeah, I think he goes S tier. He's itty bitty and probably really expensive on eBay, unfortunately. Maybe, maybe, because Nurgle's not that popular actually right now, this moment. Uh, don't get me wrong. Um, so yeah, he just goes S tier. I'll put him next to the um, to Sloppity, because uh, I do think, yeah. Personally, actually, truthfully, I like him better than Sloppity, if, if I'm being completely honest. Ooh, all right, we're on to the Forge World models. So they only have one on their website. Looks like they discontinued a lot of them. But, uh, Korbak's Utter Blight, a.k.a. somebody you'd run as either a, uh, Demon Prince, or I'll be honest, I've never seen this guy in person, so I'm not too sure how big he is, but potentially you could run him as a great unclean one. Um, yeah, this model's dumb. Uh, <laughs> I do not like that model. Yeah, sure, it fits the Nurgle, like, fluff, and that it's just like a, I don't know, a pile of rotten flush or whatever, but the face is kind of goofy, and otherwise it just looks kind of like... Almost, like, cheap or, like, not enough, like, time was put into it. Me, personally, personally, I don't like it, like, at all. I would not really want to put this on the table. There's a lot of stuff that's awesome about it. The broken horns, the horns popping out, the fungus is a really good idea. Like, I wish more G or more Nurgle models had fungus coming off of them, because that's, like, yeah, man, that's an awesome idea. The tentacles coming out, like, all that stuff's cool. But, okay, Thunderzone said he's about the size of a great unclean one. That's almost unfortunate, because that means the details are going to look kind of worse, because they're bigger. Because, you know, it's kind of like looking at the resolution of an image or whatever. The smaller it is, the better the detail. And a lot of times, maybe I'm wrong, because we're talking about models. But, um, yeah, so you got a big blob. It'd be cool for the unique factor. I like the maggots. Again, there's a lot of stuff I like, the fungus and all that sort of stuff. But overall, I think it's kind of low detail. I'm surprised that Forge World would get rid of all the other models, but keep this one, kind of. Um, but, yeah... I don't think he's trash. Oh, did I not have the model? Anyway, uh, apparently I didn't put the uh, thing here. I'm not going to put him in trash, but I put him very body bottom of Goofy, honestly. He's 120 millimeter, and the Great Unclean was 130 millimeter. Okay, so he's like super close um, for the same size. All right, next we got, uh, so I'm just going to call him Exalted uh, Greater Demons, because a lot of them have really funny names. 
Uh, exalted Forge World Demons. Ah, <clears throat> uh, what is his name? I'm trying to remember the big corn one's name. Uh, I don't remember his name, but this model is pretty slick. Oh, does it say? Does it say? Nope, it doesn't. Of all the Forge World Greater Demons, I actually kind of like this guy the most, maybe. Well, actually, okay, that's a lie. We'll get on the next one here in a second. His face is kind of weird. Uh, this does 100% remind me of a model from the 90s, like, big time. Now, don't get me wrong. This would be one of the best models, period, in the 90s. But, you know, we're in 2023 now, so um, unfortunately, it's definitely showing its age. Wings are way too thick. The uh, the axe is tight, uh, especially with how they painted this. His arms have weird, like, um, the scaling doesn't quite seem right. Like, his arms seem way too big for the rest of them. So, unfortunately, there's a lot not to like about this model. But again, like, maybe you like that old hammer charm or whatever. If you're into the old hammer look, like, yes, this guy's probably one of the better ones you could pick. Um, so, truthfully... I'll put him top of Goofy. Like I say, he has just some things that are just off about him. You look at him, you know that he's really old. So I wouldn't be that proud of running him. I feel bad for anybody who owns the model and is very proud of him. But um, I would kind of be like, if somebody asked me, like, yeah, that's my greater demon. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's an old model, you know. Now, okay, the next one, though, so the great unclean one from Forge World, that one is pretty slick. It does have, so I talked all the crap about Cor uh, Cor. Gath, or whatever his name is. This one does have a lot of similar issues, but truthfully, like, come on, guys, that's pretty awesome. I have seen this one in person, and he does look pretty slick. I could see, like, okay, I don't personally, but I could see some people saying that they like him better than the normal Great Unclean one. I don't see it myself, but I could see uh, why some people would say that. The sword is super cool. The, uh, the pose he has is pretty awesome. You know, he's kind of like a a lump of flesh, or a tumor, I guess we'll say. <laughs> uh, he's got the folds of fat, which they did really good on the detail there. Um, obviously, the ripped skin. So, of all the Forge World Greater Demons, this one's probably the best one, um, truthfully. I like this guy quite a bit. I would run him on the table if I had him. I like how he's missing the chunks of body and all that sort of stuff. The uh, the ripped uh, flesh on like his hands, like that's a really good detail that they did there. So I'm surprised that they were able to accomplish that much on this model. It looks like whoever sculpted this sort of had a heyday, um, or had a field day. It's kind of what it seems like. That face too, that face is incredible. The scar across the eye and the uh, evil smirk. I like him quite a bit. I don't think he's S tier, unfortunately, because he does show his age. But I'll put him damn good. I'll put him top of damn good. Um... Yeah, and just add some nerd. Oh, dude, nerglings would make this guy pop. Um, put some on the shoulder for sure, because um, that would change like the uh, the silhouette he has and like stand out. And obviously, put some on the base. I think you're uh, you're spot on, Thunder. Put some nerglings on there, and he'll look way better. I think. Well, I want to put him upper damn uh, damn good. I think if we're being technical about it and like honest, I think he does go below the other greater demons just because they have a more modern and better sculpted um, kit. But, yeah, that's a pretty sick model. If you're able to uh, find the 3D print or <coughs> recast, um, yeah, he's probably a pretty good, uh, pretty good thing to look into. All right, we got the uh, Exalted Keeper of Secrets. So, I own this model, and I hate it. I remember being so disappointed when I actually got my hands on this model because um, I thought it would be way cooler than it was. No, it's actually kind of lame. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if the kit I got was like sized wrong or something, but they're really small, which is weird. I was expecting them to be giant, but they're not at all. They're actually, uh, if I'm not mistaken, they're shorter than a normal uh, Keeper of Secrets. Um, <laughs> yeah, it looks like the alien from Avatar. I could see that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Excuse me. It being uh, resin and Forge World, trying to get it to mesh right was, like, impossible. So I have such huge... They're not mold lines, but, like, connection lines or whatever where you glue them together. It'll look terrible. Like, you have to take some green stuff um, to this lady. It's Forge World model, so, like, everything has to be bent into place or whatever. I had to take a hair dryer to, like, fix her um, hair. So maybe, like, maybe the fact that I had so much trouble with her makes me, like, hate her more than she is. But no, I'm gonna be real with you. I do not like that model. I think it looks goofy as hell. Um, yeah, I'm. Yeah, I don't like it. If 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 you spend 180 bucks or whatever ridiculous price G uh, Forge World wanted for this model, I almost feel bad for you. Uh, <laughs> so uh, as you can tell, I hate that model. And in fact, I finally get to have a. Um, I finally get to get back at it for all the pain it caused me. I'm putting it in trash tier. I yeah. 
I can't claim a single redeeming. The only redeeming quality is that it's a keeper of secrets. Um, and it has boobies. Okay, you got boobies in your keeper. That could save you in a couple ways, but not with me. Also, okay, the, the leg looks kind of cool. The, the leather-bound leg, like, oh, okay, I could get with that. Um, <laughs> all right, lastly, we got the, uh, ooh, I could never pronounce that guy's real name, but we got the, uh, the Lord of Change from Forge World. Where is he? Here he is. What is his name? I hope it shows it. Ah, oh, it doesn't. It's like, um, like ten syllables or whatever. This is a terrible picture. Let's, uh, let's find a better one. Here we go. That's a little better. Um, this guy really is the very definition of goofy. So he's awesome. Okay, the, the detail work is pretty decent. Like, look at his legs. The scales on his legs was actually done, like, really well. Um, but those wings are stupid. Those wings do not look good. His pose isn't the best. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I really don't like him. Again, those legs are fantastic. And, and in fact, almost everything, aside from his wings, is actually pretty good. Oh, uh, okay, the, the thing he's holding in his hand doesn't make any sense either. I think it's supposed to be a flamer that he's, like, making, which is kind of cool. I like the thought behind that, but they didn't pull it off very well. It just looks like a Play-Doh or something coming out of his hand. Uh... And, you know, John, I'll admit, so, um, like I was saying with the uh, Bloodthirster version, back in the 90s when this guy came out, I'm sure he was mind-blowing. I'm sure you put this guy on the table and, like, everybody was like, oh, my God, like, what is that guy? Oh, he's, like, my 300 freaking dollar incredibly expensive uh, <laughs> Forge World model. So I bet you back in the day, yes, this guy blew everything out of the uh, water. And, again, if you like the old-school cool, the, uh, the old hammer look or whatever, this guy's probably one of the better options. But unfortunately, if we're rating him versus, like, modern, contemporary, well, not contemporary, but modern stuff, um, unfortunately, he goes down a few levels. Um, I don't wanna, because I do still like him in the end, but I think he goes in Goofy. I think he belongs with the, um, the old Bloodthirster, and that he just looks a little weird. I do think the newer Bloodthirster looks better, um, but, yeah, unfortunately... Lord of Change, the new one blows you out of the water, my friend. Not sure if that's unfortunate, but that's just how it goes. All right, let's let's uh, let's take a look. So that was the last one. Let's take a look, because uh, we had Demon Prince without wings. Uh, let's take a look and see if we need to move anything. So, no, I'm quite confident in the Great Unclean One tier. Um, I'm very happy with those. I could see how some people would say Bellacore goes higher, but um, this is my list. So, uh, <laughs> Great Unclean One goes there. Bloodthirster, all right, do, can we shuffle these guys around in S tier? Let's see... Okay, Scarbrand does probably belong a lot higher. <clears throat> the Changeling probably belongs a bit higher. I really do like Fiends. Fiends are one of the most unique models I've ever seen, period. Um, so, okay, you guys go back above them. In fact, yeah, if I'm being honest, it goes up there. Contort Epitome is pretty cool. Uh, Shalaxy, yeah, I, should, I shouldn't be so rude. Shalaxy goes up with Scarbrand. I do think Scarbrand's better, though. Uh, Infernal and Rapturous. I freaking love that model so much. So, staying in S tier. Damn good. Ooh -hoo. Well, uh, yeah, I'll put Plague Drones in S tier. I genuinely do love Plague Drones. And if, uh, if you weren't sure on what models to get and you're mainly going rule of cool with your demons, yeah, man, get some Plague Drones. They're awesome. The Lord of Changes... Yeah, we'll keep them damn good. Again, my own internal biases are uh, playing in. I don't really think birds are, like, scary or that cool or whatever. So uh, so they just stay in A tier. Keep her secrets. She's too small and kind of bland. Kind of. We're talking about Slanesh here. I would really want her to be, like, like I said, really extravagant and, like, annoyingly in your face, like, attention seeker. And I do not see that at all with the Keeper Secrets. Granted, you know, they're going for the elegant, sophisticated look. I guess I could see it, but kind of holds her back. Great Unclean One from Forge World. I could see some people putting him in S tier. But, again, that age kind of plays in. This would be an excellent model for them to refresh. I would love to see Forge World redo that model and see what they would do these days and keep it mostly the same. Like, keep that same pose and the same face as best they could. I bet that would be pretty good. Skull Taker definitely belongs up there. Exalted Seeker definitely belongs up there. Um, Plague Bearers, okay, so from the troops, they're the best. But I don't think they're damn good models, come to think of it. I will drop them down a ways. Um, maybe below the Nurglings. Flush Hounds, definitely think it's a safe call. These really are a good model. And in fact, you know, honestly, if we're going by, like, um, 
the technical side of things, so the amount of detail and the, the resolution they use on their models or whatever, I think they could go into damn good. So actually, I'll move them up there. Um, Seleski, awesome. Bloodletters, again, like, well, they're not the best, like, ever for when you think of Chaos Demons, period. If you had a new player and you're like, tell me what a demon would look like, they would probably say Bloodletters. So GW did pretty good there. I like the, uh, the Chariot. And we'll put him a little lower. Uh, <laughs> uh, what is it? Uh, Bloodmaster. He is cool, but I don't think he belongs, like, top of uh, top of there. So we'll just put him, like, middle. Uh, yeah, pink cores are all right. Karanak. Karanak, again, when we're going, like, um, detail-wise or, like, uh, um, technically, yeah, he probably belongs top of C. Soul Grinder. Uh, yes, he's got the goofy legs, but he's a fun model to bring. I think he goes a little higher. I agree with you, John. Uh, I 100% think they will get buffed. Like, it's, like, necessary. Um, <laughs> otherwise, GW's not going to sell any of those kits, and they'll probably notice. Um, so I do think they'll get buffed when the Codex uh, comes. Maybe, too, they'll just be an errata that drops their points, because that's the main issue is their points. 160 points is ridiculous. Um, you should never run those guys at 160 points. So I agree with you. I hope they get, uh, yeah, updated. Will they get a refresh? I bet you one day, yeah, yeah, one day, um, 100%, most demons will. It seems like demons are actually a really popular um, army for a games workshop, so I do think they'll give them a lot more attention. Um, so eventually, yeah, they should get, uh, get a new one. Also, too, you could use them for um, Age of Sigmar as well, so, like, seems obvious to me. I'm kind of surprised they haven't. Um, pink cores, yeah, they can go a little higher. They're really not that bad. They're just, like... You know, they're not that cool either. Um, <laughs> so they stay in S tier. Ooh, Soul Grinder. You know, for all the issues he has, I'm, I'm going to put him in B tier because it's a freaking, it's still a cool model. Everybody ever is going to say it's a cool model. We'll all point out the flaws, but at the end of the day, we're going to say, like, yeah, this is a sick model, man. I like it. Um, probably put him, put him there. Let's see. Yeah, 100%. Most of the Sinesh models, period, need a refresh. Uh, you guys might see a theme here. Almost all of the Sinesh goes kind of low down, except for the newer models. The newer models, they knock out of the park. The older ones need another look. Um, let's see. I do like Poxbringer. I'll actually, I'll put him up here. Mm, probably behind Bloodmaster. The Skull Altar, or whatever it's called, actually isn't that bad. It's just it's terrain, so my internal biases, again, are coming out. Because I'm like, terrain sucks. But we're talking about looks here. It's really not that bad. Definitely cool for tabletop terrain. If you don't already have some and you need some cheap uh, terrain, I bet you on eBay this guy's really cheap. Uh, so that'd be good to get there. Uh, would I put blue whores above demonettes? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I like them, but I wouldn't. Uh, goofy, unfortunately. Do flamers really belong in Goofy? Yeah, I don't really like them that much. What about uh, whatever the hell they're called? Yeah, they probably do. Well, man... Skullmaster can go a little higher, but again, he's off. Something's goofy about that guy. <laughs> uh, and then, unfortunately, trashed here. Just to recap, we got Epidemius. Sadly, I love that model. He's one of my favorite models ever, but I can tell you from a fact uh, that his model in person is terrible. Uh, wait for the refresh before you get him. Although, knowing GW, they're going to legend this guy. Um, those bastards. Uh, <laughs> Fluxmaster, way too old of model. It looks terrible. The... Uh, Keeper Secrets from Forge World. You go very bottom of trash tier. I hate you so much. I'm like disappointed in myself that I ever paid money for you. And the Transweaver. You would never run that. You would just run a normal Demonette as a Transweaver. Uh, it's a terrible model. It's really old. Uh, way too expensive for what it is. <clears throat> Anyways, that's the tier list, guys. Um, appreciate you all coming along with me. So, so this is my first live stream I've ever done ever. I'm actually kind of happy with how, how it turned out. I can't thank you guys enough. Um, Charlie, Thunder, John, um, same as that, Francis, and all you other guys who came along. Genuinely, I appreciate you guys. Like, thank you guys for coming along. You, you guys were fun to chat with as well. John, I've seen you around a bunch of times, so it was awesome seeing you. Thunder, your name rings a bell too, so I feel like I've seen you before as well. So um, hopefully uh, see you guys around in the future. I do want to do the same video for the other ones. I want to do Chaos Space Marines. Who knows, maybe I'll do it tomorrow, because um, it's, um, you know, it's kind of easy. Let's see, John, uh, win list. Personally, put Bellacore top and Lord to change a bit higher, but other than that, I love it. 
Belcor top, Lord of Change. I could a thousand percent see why other people would say that. Belcor, most definitely. I um, So, okay, technically, I could see Belcor going top, but this is my list. Um, so, me personally, <laughs> I like a great unclean one too much. And then, for sure, Lord of Changes. That, that, so, my rating on them very much comes down to personal point of view. I just don't like, again, I don't like the bird thing. I think it's kind of weird or whatever. But, uh, yes, I could, the, the technical details on them, they probably do belong higher. Um, so I agree with you there, John. Um, anyways, yeah, man. Uh, something else I want to do. So I want to start doing, like, list reviews or, like, helping people write their list. So something I'm throwing out for anybody uh, either here now or watching this in the future. If you need help with any of your Chaos lists, it doesn't have to be Chaos Demons. I run all the Chaos Armies. Um, and in fact, you can shoot me your other armies list too. I'll take a look at it and tell you what I think. Um, <laughs> but if you guys need help with your list that you're writing, or you just got like general questions about the hobby period, like maybe you're thinking about getting into demons and you're not too sure about them, um, you guys are welcome to email me or leave a comment on any of my videos. My email is thefatarchon at gmail.com. You're always welcome to reach out to me. Um, I'll be glad to help. But anyways, I want to start doing list reviews. Um, something else for you guys here. Maybe you don't know about it. I'm actually doing a giveaway. It's been going on for like a week now. So check my video history and there's a contest and giveaway. I'm giving away a Greater Brass Scorpion of Corn. So a huge freaking um, Forge World model. Let's see if they even still sell it. They better still sell it. Yay! Okay, good. Um, <laughs> so I'm giving away one of these. All you have to do is, uh, well, watch the video. Watch the video. Give it a thumbs up and a like. <clears throat> uh, watch the video. Uh, entering is extremely easy. So if you guys haven't already and you want a big, expensive Forge World model, um, consider checking out that contest. If you guys haven't already um, and you enjoy what you're seeing, do consider liking and subscribing. And again, guys, um, thank you all so much for coming along with me. This has been such a wild ride. I put out that Chaos Space Marine review like a month ago and gained almost a thousand subscribers since then. I did have some subscribers before then, but not many. But every day I'm gaining like a couple of It's like it's insane. I couldn't do it without you guys. Um, but anyways, that is the stream. Hope you all enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, 100%. I'll see you guys around, all right? Thanks again, John. Thanks again, uh, Thunder. Thanks again, Francis. Thanks again, Sam. Is that? <laughs> Thanks again, Charlie. Uh, I apologize if I missed your name. Um, thank you, John. That that means a lot um, to hear you guys say that. All right, guys. Uh oh, and for uh, also too, last thing, 100%. I'm looking for suggestions on things to do. So if there's other content you want to see, um, other like video ideas you guys are curious about, maybe you want to see me do like uh, you want to see me play um, 40k games or something. I don't know. Whatever. Um, reach out and let me know. I'm definitely looking for suggestions. Anyways, I'm going to drink more coffee and take a shower. <laughs> you guys have a good night and uh, good luck out there, guys.